What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swilly, and we're going balls deep on some bang. Ooh, you ready for this? Here we go in three, two, one. Going balls <gasps> deep. <laughs> what? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> That's deep. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more Balls Deep action. I am ready to give it to you, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to The Daily Swole right here on YouTube. If you love these videos and you love this channel, you're gonna love The Daily Swole. Brand new fucking live streams every single day, so go subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can join me on The Daily Swole podcast. So this video is about a topic that I've covered before, and actually Michelle McDaniel made a video somewhat recently about it as well. We've been making content and talking about these types of energy drinks, namely Bang Energy. Now you have these weird models, you have them just pumping it to every single chick they could possibly fucking find, and you also have bang guys. You have these weird dudes that are pretty much male strippers that are just doing whatever they can to make a buck, all right? I guess that's what a female stripper does. That's what a male stripper does. Whatever it is, it's just models taking off their clothes to sell sugar water. But there's no sugar. Oh, there's no carbs. What's it made of? Why is there so much energy? Well, namely a fuck ton of caffeine and unicorn jizz or something very, very close to it. I think we need to be fighting for unicorn acceptance because all these companies and all these different girls that promote and have their own brands, it's all about the glitter. It's all about unicorns, all about the shiny, flashy, frilly. It attracts attention, it attracts the eyes. It's like, you know, a cat getting distracted by a ball of yarn. If you catch someone's attention with something sparkly, they're gonna want it. So you have this girl, Alicia, or Eliza, Megan, never heard of her. You probably haven't either, but I noticed that it says it was filmed down on South Beach and I saw the video and I'm like, oh, it's in South Florida, so it's in my realm. So I immediately took offense to this because I was triggered. I was so triggered that it's in my general vicinity they are promoting this bullshit. I think they actually, the company is down in this area. It doesn't even matter. It's a ridiculous ad. It's this chick who is wearing next to nothing that does not know how to rollerblade that is rollerblading on the boardwalk down in South Beach, a uh, South Point Pier, and she's just riding around, rolling around, doing whatever she does in unicorn-colored bang outfit, drinking her unicorn bang drink. I, you think you would get someone that actually knows how to rollerblade. Like this chick, she's like stumbling around. I mean, who does that rollerblading with the four wheels? Where are the actual blades? This is just like, these are just roller skates. It's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird thing. I don't know. It's a weird ad. It's just her skating around and drinking bang. It's kind of like those ads you'll see on Instagram where someone brings in the protein powder, brings in the tub, or brings in the BCAAs to the fucking gym. So obviously this is trying to attract guys, I suppose. I don't know if a lot of girls are gonna see this and be like, oh, super cool. There's actually one part in this where she's taking a selfie, wearing next to nothing, looking like a unicorn and this guy runs by and he looks at her like what the fuck is she doing what the hell is going on here because they probably had some kind of a drone shot or something wherever the angle was taken from i mean it's an ad it's another ad for a fitness related product now you can make the argument that bang is not a fitness related product it's just a drink like a coca-cola but they market it as a fitness product they market it as an energy drink they market it as something that's going to give you a boost for working out they market it with people that look like they're in shape that have muscle that look like they exercise to an extent and they market it to guys they market it to girls they market it to younger people that are impressionable big surprise we have the fat acceptance and those types of movements going on teen vogue and going after younger generations as they normally do because they're impressionable and a lot of people are going to want to aspire to look like this person so it's another strike against the supplement industry, against this type of bullshit marketing. I mean, I guess if you pay enough money, of course, to Instagram or Facebook, the same thing, but they're going to show your ad. And you can't show or you get in trouble for discussing and you get flagged on YouTube for talking about fat acceptance, for talking about body positivity, for talking about real issues that are affecting people. Obesity is a real fucking problem, but then you can have these next to naked chicks promoting garbage drinks. I mean, if they were promoting research for cancer, then it would be a proper use of fucking tits and ass. That would be a proper use of 
the human flesh if you're actually using it for a good cause. But to promote fucking unicorn jizz drinks, it's just another layer of crap that we don't need in our society. Now, this is my opinion, but I mean, if I'm seeing this and that's my mindset, a lot of other people are seeing this as well. To top it off, the caption just has nothing whatsoever to do with the product. So she says, or it says, so many people are afraid to be alone. Like she is randomly in some, on some boardwalk in South beach, just half naked on her roller skates, drinking bang, dressed like a unicorn. Just so many people are afraid to be alone, dressed like a unicorn. When you are really happy, alone is peaceful and time for you to think about your goals, dreams, and priorities. What's your favorite bang energy to help keep you focused? Well, it Funny you should mention that. It's cotton candy fucking unicorn jizz. That's my favorite bang flavor. I'm so happy you wrote that caption. Now I'm going to go get an, a nice, cold, frosty can of BPA-infused fucking garbage. People, you don't need all these fancy supplements. Are some supplements effective? Sure, they can be, depending on what your diet is like, what your training needs are, and what you may be deficient in, which most people don't understand because they don't get regular, accurate work, whether it's blood work or other type of testing to see what they actually need. Most people don't have that kind of focus awareness or the financial situation to do those types of tests to see what they really, but you don't need three to 400 milligrams of caffeine with super creatine and all the other crap that they're putting in this drink. It's literally the same thing as soda. It's probably even worse because of the caffeine infused and whether you're a gamer, whether you're in fitness or whether you are an impressionable young person that wants to chug some glitter colored fucking nonsense wake the fuck up you don't need this crap and this might be an anti-ad to this ad fine if you like bang fine you can drink it this is just my opinion i'm just ranting a little bit i wanted to go balls deep on something and this popped up in my instagram feed and it's just another thing that i've talked about before it's stupid fucking ads with a stupid setup with a stupid premise with an incoherent incongruent caption that has nothing to do with the garbage that they're pushing. This is what marketing is all about. It's creating this image that has nothing to do with the product and be like, oh, wait, we're associated with this liquid in a can. We created this in a lab and we put a lot of garbage in it. Drink this because all of this comes with it. It's not reality. I think most of you know that, but it felt good to talk about it again because when a company like Bang is going to put some unicorn crap on my feed, I get to talk about it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Drop your comments below. Do you like Bang? Do you like unicorn jizz? Is that something that you like to consume? Drop that in the comments below too. And remember to subscribe to the Daily Swole channel right here on YouTube. Catch the live streams every single day. And I'll see you next time for some more balls deep action i'm out peace it's good stuff it really is it really is i mean i talk so negatively about unicorn jizz and it's like no 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 unicorn jizz but is that anabolic as fuck have you ever had it you get like the fresh stuff not the conventional but you get the organic the organic like full fat like the full the whole thing nothing the like raw raw unicorn jizz <sighs> that shit's good that shit's fucking good Mm. Crazy flow, need a straight jacket. Cash flow, I'm a bank addict. Six subs, had the bass smacking. Paid the weights, had the place clapping. Three girls is enough for me, so I pull out like the stock's crashing, like an IPO trying to purchase me. This a private sector, so you can't have it. Faking all that boom bapping. Who you think you is, boy? 90s want they sound back, so I get 